Hello and welcome to Sovereign RPG. Today we're going to be continuing on the mini series of basic tutorials for Eve Echoes. I'm going to try something a little different this time. I'm going to be adding my own video footage to the actual video. Please let me know down below what you think. Today's tutorial is going to be all about traveling, warping and the general UI. The general UI while in space has been heavily simplified to fit and function on small mobile screens. We will start off with the small eye to the right hand side of the UI. This brings up a small menu pop up that has two configurations, simplified and detailed. The detailed version as named has extra info within it, so we will be going over this one. This has the name, the distance and the symbol denoting what each is. When you open this window you have five options, nearby, which tells you in order from closest to furthest what is around you, celestial bodies, which shows you all of the planets and the sun of the system that you are in, stations, which shows you all of the stations of the system you are in, stargates, which shows you all of the stargates in your system, you use these to travel to the system that is named directly above the distance, and finally signals. These are the points in the system you are in that you can warp to. They can be NPC signals, where you can rat to an isk by killing NPC ships and asteroid belts where you will primarily mine for resources to use in manufacturing. The small number directly under the name of the signal denotes the level of the signal from 1 to 10, 1 being the easiest NPC signal and least abundant asteroid fields, to 10 being the hardest and with the rarest asteroid fields. You will be primarily using this window when traveling around EVE Echoes. Traveling in EVE is an easy thing once you get used to it. Once you pick one of the five options, for this example we'll use the station option, left click on one of the stations that you would like to travel to, a new window will pop up. Dock is used only in the station option, this will allow you to warp to and instantly dock at the station. Warp can be used in any of the options listed in this part of the UI, this will allow you to warp directly to the point you have selected. Approach is mainly used once you have already warped to the selected point. You would not use this to travel a long distance. An example would be to approach an asteroid you would like to mine in a nearby menu to get into range for mining. Once you have clicked on the dock button, your ship will automatically jump and dock at the specified station. If you've accidentally pressed warp, when you arrive you can just click on the station itself. A wheel will pop up at the point of clicking with almost the same options. You will just press the dock icon to enter the station. The addition on this wheel is orbit. You will use this when fighting NPCs or mining asteroids. You should never sit still in space too long as you will become a target. Now that is done, another way to travel is to open the map which is the constellation icon to the right of your avatar photo. This form of traveling can be done automatically, no matter how many jumps you need in order to reach your destination. When you have the map window open, you can either search for the system you would like to head to manually, or use the search button in the bottom left. Press where it says enter text and type in all or part of the system or station you are looking for. Click the confirm button and then after click the search button. I search for Renin which is one of the ITC trade hubs in EVE Echoes. This has brought up the system itself if you would like to head to the system to have a look. Or the option to click one of the stations for the system that you have searched. Click on the option that you would like and another box will pop up in the bottom right. Click on set as destination and then close the search window. As you can see in the top left, you have a new pop-up. This is showing you the destination you have chosen, the security status of the system, and how many jumps it will take to arrive there. Clicking this will bring up the autopilot window. This is great for those long distance jaunts through safe areas. You can and will most likely be attacked in nullsec and destroyed, so still try to keep an eye on things. Once you click the start button, the game takes over and you will automatically make your way to your destination. Please note that you can still go through the other aspects and options of the UI, find out information, have a look at the market, sort out your ship's inventory, and anything else you would like to do and it will not stop the process unless you click the bar again and press end. Once you have reached your destination the autopilot will stop you and you can choose another destination or do what you came to do in that system. That will be all for this Eve Echoes Basics tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did please hit that like button and hit that subscribe button as there will be many more like this in the future. If you are looking for a great team to learn all about industry either in the safety of high stake or straight to the deep end of null sec where the riches are, my cork Trimark Heavy Industries would love to have you on board. A link to our discord server can be found in the description. And remember, fly safe and avoid local chat scams.